We are going to make a kitchen with the Archipack Pro add-on and a basic rendering. I'll explain step by step and you can see all the shortcuts on the screen. Let's get started! After installing Archipack Pro, go to Create, then Kitchen. You can add a pre-built kitchen and adjust it, but I prefer starting from scratch. So select this single cabinet, Euronorm. Be sure you have it selected, go to Archipack, Edit Parameters. In Main you have the global parameters which refer to the entire kitchen. For example, you can change the dimensions of the different categories of cabinets. Change the door style to frame and board with bevel. Increase the board chamfer to 0.005, the border to 0.11, and the chamfer to 0.005. You can choose different handles, but I'll stick to the T5 bar, which is the default one. Here are the countertop options. Increase the chamfer to 0.005. The last one is the baseboard, but leave it like this. Go to Cabinets, expand this panel, increase the width to 0.9, Add the left baseboard and change the door in double door. To change the height of the handles, go to Main, change the altitude to 0.1. Modify also the width to 0.1. Go back to Cabinets and add the left sideboard. The first cabinet is done. So, close this panel and click the plus icon to add another one. We don't need the sideboard, so disable it. We need three drawers, so change the door to drawer and the number to three. Decrease the height of each drawer to two. Instead of countertop, select cooktop and change the width to 0.7. Close this panel and now we want another double cabinet. So click the plus icon of the first cabinet. Move it down pressing this arrow and disable the left sideboard. Now we need a corner cabinet. So duplicate the last one with the plus icon and change the type to corner left. Disable the door and modify the width to 0.6. Add another cabinet from the third one and move it down. Change the door to door right and the width to 0.45. Duplicate the cabinet 3 and move it down with the down arrow. Expand the panel Add the sink and increase the width to 0.7. Now add another cabinet. Remove the sink, change the width to 0.6. Here you can select a dishwasher, but I prefer choosing a door T that simulates it. Add another cabinet. The width is 0.45 and the door is door left. This was the last floor cabinet. Now add another one, but change the type from floor to full. The width is 0.6. We want four doors. The first one is door right with height 5. For the second one, select the oven and decrease the height to 5. The third one is a door right with height 4. And the last one is too short, so we need to go back to main and here, in full cab, increase the value to 17. Go to cabinets and let's add another one. This time with three doors. The first one has height 6 and it is a door left. 
The second one is the fridge. So put again door left, but with height 8. The last one has height 3 and it is a door T. Add right sideboard and right baseboard because it is the last module on the right side. To add the wall cabinets, duplicate the last one, change the type to wall, the width to 0.9, add the left sideboard and change the door in double door. To move it on the top of the floor cabinets, just press reset location and here it is. Add another cabinet, but actually here there should be the range hood. In the add-on there is one, but I prefer to use another one from Blender Kit. For now, change the type to empty and we'll add the hood later. Duplicate cabinet 11, then move it down. The empty space is too large, so change the width to 0.85. Go back to cabinet 13 and remove the right sideboard. Now we need a sort of connection, so add another cabinet. The width is 0.23. Board only and remove the sideboard. Add another cabinet and modify the type to corner right. I actually made a mistake earlier. This one should also be corner right. Duplicate cabinet 13 and move it down. Then modify the width to 0.45 and the door to door left. Remove the left sideboard and add the right sideboard. Let's check if the wall cabinets are aligned to the floor ones. Numpad 7 to go to top view. Select the corner cabinet 15 and modify the X offset. The modules are done. If you want, you can save the entire kitchen to the library, clicking this plus icon. Now we need the walls. Go to top view, shift A to create a plane, S to scale it up, 13 by 13 is ok, Ctrl A to apply the scale, G to grab and drag the plane down, enable vertex snap and move arrow. Drag the Y arrow while pressing Ctrl until you can see this green circle and then release everything. Do the same in the X direction. Right click, convert to curve. Move it 0.3 right and 0.3 up. Then go to create wall from curve. Select generic 30 by 300. Make sure you have the walls selected and go to Archipack, click this icon, then Floors and add the first one. Then add the floor molding and then the ceiling slab. Select the slab, add an offset of minus 0.3 and move it 0.3 down. Go inside the room, shift A to create a camera. Center the view, you can hold Ctrl middle click and drag to zoom in and out. Then press Ctrl Alt 0 to move the camera to your view. Go to view, enable camera to view to adjust the view and then disable it. To add a window, go to Create Window. Select this one and put it on the wall with left click. Select the window and change the dimensions 
to 1 by 1.8 and 1.1 for the altitude. Go to Leaf, remove the handle, then go to Parts and modify the values as you prefer. Add Blind Inside, then select it, decrease the extension, change the type to Roller and adjust it. Now let's add the hood and other props. This can also be done at the end of the process, if it is too heavy for your computer. I am going to use Blender Kit. I have the free version at the moment, so I'll sort it as free first. Choose a nice hood. Add it to the scene attached to the ceiling and center it in the empty space. Now choose a tap and add it to the sink. I'm going to add other props, but I'll speed up the video. Choose whatever you like and see you later for the rendering process. To change the colors of the kitchen, selected, click this icon. Here you can see the default materials, but if you want to create a new one, you can do it in Material Properties. Duplicate Gloss Paint White, rename it, put again the white one, then add a material and select the one we just created. Here you can select the color, but I prefer to choose it from Inkscape, that is like Adobe Illustrator, but it is free and it has this nice palette. Create a rectangle, select it and choose the color you like. I'll pick this one. Go to Fill and Stroke, copy the color code and paste it here in Hex. Now go to Material Preview Mode. If it slows down your computer, you can disable the props. They should be in Collection, so you can hide the entire collection. Here you can change the different parts of the cabinets to the new color. I'll make the sideboards, the countertop and the baseboard white. Go to the materials of the handles and the oven that is inox and increase the brightness. Change the material of the sink to aluminum. Duplicate the curtain material and change the color. Enable Cycles and GPU Compute. Then go to Render View and select the Noise Optics. Now we need an HDRI. I usually use Gaffer Adon but you can download all the HDRI for free on the Polyhaven website. 
go to World Properties, enable HDRI and choose Abandoned Parking. Adjust the sun rotation and the brightness. To hide the HDRI, go to Render Properties, Film, Transparent. To change the color of the floor, select it, go to Material Properties, select the material and go to Shading. Change the saturation to zero, add a bright contrast node, modify both to minus 0.3. Go back to Layout and apply the same material also to the baseboard. Hide the ceiling. Now Shift A to add a rectangular light. Rotate it 90 degrees along the Y axis, move it inside the room and rotate it to simulate the light of a window. Increase the power to 60 or more and make the color a bit more yellowish. Duplicate the light and rotate it. Now we can unhide the ceiling. Go to Render View to see the result. Now come back to Solid View and unhide the collection with all the props. I'll add some ceiling lamps from Blender Kit. Go again to Render View and now we need some plants. I usually get them from the Botanica Don, but you can find plants and trees also in the free version of Blender Kit. Go to Polygonic, move the cursor with Shift right click, then Spawn, Pots and choose one. Then move the cursor to the center of the pot with shift right click, then go to spawn, plants and choose the one you like. As to scale it and move it down a bit. To add some trees outside the window, hold shift right click and control to move the cursor to this corner. Click Spawn, Shrubs, and choose one you like. Shift D to duplicate it, and Random Transform to change the shape. We want to see the trees, but we don't want to cover the sunlight. And finally, press F12 on your keyboard to make the render. Save it and now we are going to do a bit of color correction with Krita, but you can use Photoshop or GIMP. Open the image with Krita, duplicate the level, adjust contrast, saturation and levels. Add a white layer behind everything and export it. Let me know in the comments what would you like me to model next time. Check in the description the ArcVids playlist and all the software and add-ons that I use in the project. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and see you next time.